Hi, I'm Brandon. Today we're going to create a simple workflow in SAP and then launch that workflow via Avat Webden Pro. So I will start by going to Transaction SWDD. You see that I'm already there. And I'm going to click the New Workflow. So again, you can see I am in Transaction SWDD. So uh, first thing we'll do is we'll pull the email activity send email and drag it over here into our first task. Uh, I'm going to say mail it to an email address. You could select a position or um, there's a couple other options, but I'm just going to email it to myself. And we'll say test workflow. And then you can have your sub subject of your email here, or the body of the email. So control. Alright, so it's going to want a task name. So we'll create a new task name. We'll call it uh, ZWP task email. And we'll save that as a local object. So there's our new task. It generated a number for us. If you ever get to the screen, you can't figure out how you create a new one. You can just you can drop down here and create tasks. But it automatically allowed us to do that. All right, so that is done. You can see we have our new test workflow task. Um, now we need a way to call this workflow. So to do that, we have to have an event. So to, we're going to go click this little hat here, basic data. Go to start events. And this is where you have to select a business object. We're going to select uh, business object PBS notification. You can create your own uh, business object by going to SW01, but I'm just going to select one that's already created. And the event type, I'm going to, uh, the event in this object I'm going to use is assigned. Uh, so we do have to make sure this is green before we go uh, and activate it before we go forward. Um, for the first point of binding, save this. Go into the binding, make sure this is green, check that, and then activate it. So that's green. And now we can activate our workflow. All right, no errors. So you see this is very simple. Uh, we now actually have a way to call it with this uh, event over here. And all it does is send an email and the workflow is completed. But the main part I want to show you is that you can call this workflow via Webden Pro. So we're going to create a new session and go into SE80. Oh, and as we did create, activate that workflow, it assigned us a workflow number here. So if we ever wanted to uh, find that again. So now we're going to create an app called ZWP Workflow. And we're going to do a service call. So create service call. If you've uh, followed a couple of my other uh, tutorials, you've been here before, uh, especially the Output Webden Pro Wizard tutorial. So we're going to call a function module, and the function module we're going to call is SAP WAPI Create Event. And then we're going to select uh, a couple of these parameters, and select your object type as parameters and methods. So we'll do that with object type, object key event, commit work, we'll pass over event language, oh, I'm just going to air name event is reserved for Webden Pro Framework, that's fine, we'll just call this Z event, press enter, continuing down, we leave language the same, uh, user, uh, we'll call that a parameter of the method, and that should be everything, so we'll continue, continue again, and complete. So now it created this contact node for us. Uh, let's first go into our main view. We want to make sure we pull that uh, context over here just in case we wanted to use that to display errors or anything like that. We'll go to the methods 
and actually we'll go up to the layout and here we're going to create a, a button so insert element call it uh, launch workflow button obviously type button and the text here we'll call it launch workflow our action for this button uh, we're going to create a new one click on the little piece of paper there we'll call it uh, start workflow uh, now we'll go since we just created an action go to the actions tab you see it there we can double click on this action or, or just go to our methods and you'll see a method was also created so I'm going to double click on that and because we created that service call earlier we have the ability to call the SAP WAPI create event method. So we'll go to the wizard, go to the general tab, method called and use controller, method name, there we'll see it, execute WAPI create event. Perfect. So we're going to uncomment both of these. And for this, we'll say X, unless we want to commit. Object key and object type, that's going to be uh, we'll to reference our workflow again. And the user is SY unit. Leave a dash there. So the object key, I think we can just throw a, a random number. So we'll do one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. The object type, we'll go back into this guy by double clicking. The object type is PBS notification. And the event is assigned. So we copy that, go back to our workflow. There we have it. So we'll save this. We'll activate. All right. So to test to see if this to uh, to check to see if this is working, we can go into transaction SWI two underscore free today, and we'll say that. Uh, so that's a dialog task. We want to make sure we check the workflow. So our workflow number is 999243. We don't have any called yet with a 243. So let's give it a test. Let's go to our WebDim Pro. Let's create the application so we can test this. And let's launch this guy. So test. We have our little launch workflow button. So let's sit this side by side. We have our SWI2 underscore freak and our application. So let's click this. Let's refresh. There we go. So you can see when you have our new workflow uh, item was launched. So if I double click on this, we can take a uh, deeper look to see what, what's going on. We'll click the log, the little scroll here. And we can look at the details of the user. And we can also look at the graphical protocol. So you can see uh, the green lines indicate that the email was in fact sent and the workflow uh, was completed. All right, good job, have fun with that. There are also other uh, SAP um, methods that you can play around with. Let me see if I can find an open session for you here. So let's go into SC37. So we had SAP WAPI create event. A couple others you'll see are
You can resume a workflow, suspend a workflow. Uh, you can create uh, workflow containers. So if you want to send uh, data back and forth between uh, applications throughout a workflow, you can create a, a container. And so yeah, there's a lot you can do. So just uh, go into SC37, SAP, WAPI, and uh, you can kind of search through these. And then obviously you can do the um, service calls in your Webdin Pro applications. So, right. Hi, thanks a lot for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. Also, if any of these tutorials have helped you out in one of your projects, please consider a small donation. Until next time, cheers.